Welcome back to every Disney movie. Oh wait, um, welcome back to every Disney movie. Oh, la, la, la. Welcome back to every Disney movie ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching every Disney movie ever today. I'm going to talk about. The Music Man. The Music Man is a 2003 ABC television release. It's directed by Jeff Blechner, cinematography by James Chrysanthus, editing by Brian M. Horn and Jeffrey Rowland, music by Meredith Wilson, and is written by Sally Robinson. It is based off the Music Man musical. It is the Music Man musical. It's not like, I mean, I guess it's an adaptation, but it, it, I mean, Meredith Wilson wrote the musical, and Meredith Wilson and Franklin Lacey wrote a story that this musical is based off of. So Meredith Wilson wrote this, so it's not really, I mean, it can't really be based on it. It is it. It's just they put on the Music Man on film. So we're not doing any kind of comparison because it just is the Music Man. And I didn't do a comparison for Annie because it just was Annie. You understand? The film stars Matthew Broderick as Professor Harold Hill, Kristen Chenoweth as Marion, Victor Garber as Mayor Shin, and Deborah Monk as Mrs. Peru. I have seen this live put on stage way back when I was in, way back when I was in high school. Whoa, I'm dating myself there. Back when I was in high school with um, like the drama department. We went and saw it. I remember nothing except 76 trombones um, at the time. And then I watched this and realized I knew a lot more songs than I had. We'll get there. This was filmed in Burlington, Millbrook, Milton, Uxbridge, and Toronto, Ontario, Canada. There was some really great movement in this, especially to cover some of the choreography, but there weren't a lot of shot choices. I feel like the editor was very limited in what they could cut away to when, which was a little unfortunate and it wasn't bad. It didn't make like the pacing bad or anything. It just felt like they didn't have a lot of choice, which was kind of disappointing because I really would have loved like some quick cuts to a lot of different shot choices, but they did a lot of choreography. So I'm sure they just wanted to cover that as basically as they, well, not basically, because there was some good movement, but you understand what I'm saying. I think the most effective edit in this film was the slow-mo choice when Marion starts to fall in love with Professor Harold Hill. Um, she obviously, I think it's at this point, um, she knows that he's a fraud, but she sees how happy her little brother is, and it makes her start to fall for him and they do this whole like slow motion shot of like coming in on her but also like showing him handing out instruments it's very sweet very effective they were able to give the whole like she's falling in love just from her performance the shot and as well as the edit i really love the quickness and the cleverness of the words in the songs and i will say i knew way more songs in this than i thought i had um, the romantic song that Marion sings, I cannot remember the name of it for some reason, 76 Trombones, Gary Indiana, Gary Indiana, a ton of these songs I knew, I just didn't know they were from The Music Man. 76 Trombones, I did know was from The Music Man. Um, so that was super exciting to like know more of the music than I thought I did. Some of them are very forgettable, kind of don't care. Um, I think Kristen Chenoweth was a real git, which we will move to. But I did enjoy the musical overall. I just think some of the songs are a little bit weaker than others, but some of them were really well known and I couldn't believe it and have gone down as classics, obviously. When I first saw this back uh, in high school, I think it went over my head that he was a con man or I didn't care because I was there seeing it with my friends. I don't know, but it just made a lot more sense now. I just grasped it a lot better this time. There's a pair of death, Marion's father has passed away. I don't know if this is the right time to talk about this, but this movie, or musical, I should say, this musical is pretty sexist. Granted, I know it's like probably a victim of its time, but the cheap, cheap song, like the cheap, cheap song where the women sing, oof. That was uncomfortable. I did not like any part of that. You, you know, the cheap, cheap implying that they're chicks who like to gossip. And so they're like actually saying cheap, cheap and stuff. I just, it's supposed to be funny and like, haha, oh my God, women talk about things and know stuff and haha. Um, I didn't think it was funny, uh, which makes sense. Um, I, I don't know. It just came across the wrong way to me. It felt very like just, I don't know, it was done in poor taste, it felt like to me. I didn't like it. Um, 
And there were other things, you know, like, oh, everyone says Marion's goal should be to have a husband when she like takes care of a library. Sick, I wanna take care of a library, that's awesome. So, um, I didn't like any of that. Matthew Broderick has always been good at being a devilish, conniving little, I mean, Ferris Bueller. It's like he's Ferris Bueller just grown up. <laughs> it's a grown up Ferris Bueller. Um, and he's always been good at a musical number. And I do know he's always loved musicals and he's done like the producers and stuff like that. And he's got a pretty decent voice. I, I feel like I hadn't like super heard him sing except like maybe Ferris Bueller. I haven't seen a lot of Matthew Broderick movies. I don't think he sings in The Lion King 2. Maybe he does. That'd be exciting. I should look. I didn't think he did, but maybe he does. It sounds like him a little bit. Anyway, Chris and Chenna with being in this movie is the best thing that could have happened to this movie. It's also very star-studded, but like with stars who went on to do things. Like the little brother? Homeboy has done a lot. Homeboy was like in Gotham. He like, he's gone on to do great stuff. Um, Victor Garber's in it, you know, Matthew Broderick, Kristen Chenoweth. There's just like a lot of stars in this or people that went on to be stars, which was very exciting. Oh, also when Matthew and Kristen sing on the bridge together, like when they finally sing together and they have that big crescendo moment, best singing in the movie, they crushed it. It was amazing. The choreography was Awesome. I think it's probably the most standout part of this. It was really well done. The dancers they got were fantastic. I genuinely liked a lot of the choreography. I wish there was some more coverage of it. Like I mentioned under, um, you know, the editing and cinematography, but otherwise choreography really stood out. I think it was a lot of fun dance numbers. Uh, I think if it had just been covered a bit more, it wouldn't have come like felt as like long. I forgot about the sadder but wiser girl song. That's also disgusting and super sexist. Wanting the sadder but wiser girl. Ew, come on, that's just gross. Um, the, what do you wanna take out? The librarian? That was smooth, got a smooth out of me. The story is interesting to me because he, he's a con man. This is how she falls for him. He's a con man, but he has brought some good to the town by bringing everybody together. Granted, it's all based on a lie, but he did get everyone to like come together and be happier and cooperate and everything like that, which is good. But he didn't suffer like any consequences for the crimes he committed in multiple cities. Um, he like almost went to jail, but then it was like, eh, man, look at what he did, but yeah, we'll just keep him. And, blah, blah. and I don't know if I'm about that. I feel like it just like, mm, I don't know. He, there was a lot of like irredeemable qualities uh, that just all of a sudden like everyone's chill with because Marion fell for him. And that's fine, like homeboy can have flaws, but I don't know. I just feel like his growth was like in 0.2 seconds. Like he was planning on leaving all the way up until Marion was like, love you. And he was like, oh wait, you do? Dang, I think I love you too. Like. So I don't know. I didn't really see growth there except for falling in love with Marion, which like, fine, but mm, mm. it was good, but I don't know if I would like go out of my way to see The Music Man. That's everything I have for The Music Man. My final rating is six trombones out of 76, 10. Our total movie count is. Our parent death toll is. <laughs> Cry count is still the same. If you want to keep up with the movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put up videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon. I got daily trivia going on over there. You really need to get done on. I got weekly random facts. Got monthly podcasts. Come on. Go on. Go. Do it. Please. Buy merch. Can't buy this anymore. It's limited edition. So sorry. Until next time, come like, subscribe, but I'm not in charge of your life. You are, so you do. And don't be... I mean, I would say... Don't be Harold Hill about it, but I suppose he learns his lesson. Also, like, kind of, sort of, don't be the mayor about it. Mayor was kind of a turd, so. Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana. Oh, yo, no, f that movie, dude.